and no one is is able to comprehend uh, the, the 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 how large this thing is, how big it is, and the implications of it. Uh, it's just a it's staggering story, and, and and I don't even know what to do with it. I don't even know how to uh, to explain to the audience how big this thing really is, how ancient it is, and how serious uh, our our existence is on this earth because of this incredible ancient uh, apparatus that was set up thousands of years ago and it's the whole idea is coming from the darkness of night into the new light of a new world order well did and you hear just, uh, did you hear yeah. his acceptance speech where he kept saying the new age the new age the new age barack obama went well his his inaugural speech please continue yes i know i it's all part and parcel of what I'm talking about. And that's coming why, into the new age, coming into the new yeah. light. Why are you saying that's so dangerous? Uh, it is It is profoundly dangerous because the people who are doing it, are, you, they have, look at, uh, they have a lingo. They have symbols and words and terms that they use among themselves that they know what they're talking about. And they realize that the, the people of the world have no idea about what they're saying, what, what it means. And once you've cracked this code of words and terms, it's staggering and it's frightening in its implications. And, because, and that's what I've got. Because they're saying, at least with the Earth First Battalion and what the Pentagon says and what General Stubblebot and others have said, that the new age means killing most of us, doesn't it? Well, I'm afraid so. Yes, because uh, because it's it's part of the agenda, and, and the um, new but, man, the cybernetic merger of humans right. into machines and the, and the extermination of the majority of us. That's right, because they are dumbing down the humans while making the machines uh, and the computers uh, able to think for themselves. And so, in America, we like to brag that we've got computers that can think for themselves. And I say, thank God, because the people can't. So and the new age. One facet, I know I oversimplify it all, but one facet of the new age is the new man, the new creation. That's right. Uh, and the old man goes bye-bye. You've got it. That's exactly one of the most important terms is the new man. And when you begin to see what that, that term new man actually implies and why Adolf Hitler talked about all the time creating the new man, why Stalin and his writings talked about the coming of the new man. When you see the communist symbols and words and terms that were used by the Communist Party around the world, talking about the coming of the new man, when the sun would rise on a new order, once you begin to see this, then you see how very powerful and ancient and old and well-financed this, this whole monstrosity on the human race really is. And then for the first time, you begin to see how serious in trouble we really are. I think it is the final, last, and final move. This is, in my humble opinion, this is it. There is nothing to come after this. this you have never said move. that before. You have never said yep. that in 49 years of research. You've never That's said right. this is it. This is it. But as far as I'm concerned, there is no doubt in my mind, because I've watched the steps and watched it progress over the years and, and, and looked at it from every point of view. I've taken this to other authors, writers, researchers in private, and, and, and they're looking at it, and we're, we're studying this thing. Up until now, I have always believed that there was going to be some way that people would wake up and find out and be able to thwart this thing. But now I am totally convinced that the last and final stroke has been put into place now, and now it's a survival of the human race now. Now it is cosmic in proportion. Because once the, the elite people, engage all these thousands of years of programming, conditioning, and preparation, this isn't even a machine they can turn off, is it? That's right, exactly. It's not something that they have control over anymore. Now it is cosmic in proportion. It is, it's the basis for governments. It, the, the symbol is used in, in governmental systems, educational systems, law enforcement, and you're military. And you're saying there is an above, let's just get down to bottom lines, Christians can call it you know, spiritual entities, whatever. The elite believe this in their own writings. There is an above human government that's been directing things. Oh, you can bet on that. There is no doubt in my mind. And that's why so many people have asked, and talked about my religious faith as, as to whether I believe in God. I have no problem at all 
believing in God. I have no problem believing in the divine because I have studied the occult world for many, many years. I know what these uh, symbols and religions, where they've come from, how they were co-opted, put into use by the elite uh, powers of the world.